Hi, everyone. I will, um, this video will be to show you how to uh, create map in my Google Maps and then export that into something that you can read in RGIS Pro or RGIS Online. So I'll share, I will be sharing my uh, screen with you and I'll walk you through. Okay, so first thing is we are going to create a new map. So this uh, new map that I'm creating is gonna be about the best tacos or tacos, like my son says in Hermosillo, the, my hometown. Okay, so you add a title, you have a description. Now I give a name to my layer. I'm gonna get uh, close to my hometown. And I'm going to start looking for those places. So I find several that I'm interested in. And I'm going to add them to my layer. Once you have a bunch of places already here, uh, you can save this. Here's my layer. Now I can export this to KML. You can, um, you can create export KML instead of KMC. I'm gonna create a new map. I give it the name. I'm gonna create a new folder for this project. Okay, so we can read the uh, KML straight here. So that is, I can add the data. KML, I can click OK, and, and I'm going to be able to see my information in the map. So in order for me to uh, convert this into a JFile file or, my, or just put it in a geo database, I need to use the geo processing tools. If you don't have it here, what you can do is go to View, go to Reset Panes, and then Reset Panes for geo processing. And under geo processing, I'm going to look for a tool called KML to layer. You click on that one and it's going to open up the window where you can actually uh, follow up the steps and do that conversion. So the input KML file, you can either drag the layer here or you can simply click on here and it's going to be available. It's going to leave it tacos hermosillo. Okay, so I'm going to run this. And now I'm going to have my layer here, new layer here. And I'm going to save my map. Okay, now if you right click into points, now you can see an attribute table. Now let's say that I want to include um, a picture or I want to include as well a website for each of these places. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to edit my attribute table. You see these three little lines here. You can click on it and search for fields view. And it's going to open up a new window right here with all the fields that you have currently in your attribute table. Some of these, you probably won't use them again. So you can turn them off. Uh, you can add a picture. Well, let's say website first. Here, I'm going to add a text. I'm going to add a new, click here to add a new field, and this is going to be picture. And then I'm going to add a blog. So I'm going to save now, and I'm going to return to points. So now you're going to see that not all of the fields uh, appear anymore. I'm just going to have my website and my picture right here, OK? So in order for me to um, edit this, you simply have to double click on it and you're gonna be able to edit. For example, I'm gonna start editing and adding information about each of these taco places. So once you finish, uh, in my case, just adding information about the pop-up information, now I can start with the website. This website that I'm gonna share with you tells you how to add an hyperlink path to a field in RGIS Pro. 
So you're gonna find it under GIS resources. Is it possible to add a hyperlink path to a field in RGS Pro? Okay, so here it explains what you need to do. Uh, you need to create a field uh, called hyperlink. In my case, I created a link called uh, website. And then you need to um, add the website with some um, code, which is right here. Okay, so basically you need to copy this and then uh, you need to replace this file path with the hyperlink. And I'm gonna put it here first in these uh, notepads so that you can see it. Here is the link that I found in the website. And the web, uh, link to my first uh, site for tacos is right here. And I'm gonna replace this with the whole uh, link. And then I'm just gonna copy the whole thing and place it here. Okay, and I'm going to do the same with the other ones. Now that I have all of it, I can just save it. Save. Um, all right, so I can just click on here and you're going to see the pop up, uh, the name, the pop up information, and then the website. So if you click on the website, it should work, it should take you to uh, the actual website. Okay, I'm going to make uh, a new um, feel that says good and best, kind of to have two categories. So I'm going to rate them. So I can say this is good. And about a picture. So basically you need to look for a, uh, a geoprocessing tool. So if you have the geoprocessing still available, just click on it and, and look for enable attachments, okay? I'm gonna drag these layer here points and then I'm gonna run. Run it again, so it's not working. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna save this into my geo database which is best tacos in Hermosillo. The output name will be here, tacos. I'm gonna click okay. Now I have just this one. If I click on uh, attribute table, I'll see that all the information that I have saved is already here. Okay, so that's good. So enable attachments. What I'm gonna do is just run it to with this layer. This, this uh, first attempt a layer that I wanted to use to, um, to add attachment did not allow me. I'm not really sure why, but you know what? This, this is the, uh, the first attempt that I used, but then I, as, as you saw, I converted this to a new layer. So basically what you need to see here under catalog, data sets and your data sets, I'm gonna see now I have uh, these tacos layer, and I have tacos attached and tacos attached uh, as well. Is basically the link of this new table that is that I created or the RGS Pro created, uh, and it's going to be linked to my point um, layer. Okay. In order for you to upload a picture in each of the points that I, you have what you need to do is go to edit okay this uh, menu of edit and you will see uh, different things here but what's important is that first of all you need to select your point so actually first of all i'm gonna turn off this uh, layer of tacos hermosillo i'm actually gonna remove it because i don't need it i'm gonna remove it completely so now i have my tacos and i'm gonna change actually um the symbology so you can see them better, okay? So here they are. All right, so I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna select one of my points and I'm going to open attributes. And you're gonna see this window here. And you're gonna see, first of all, the attributes, here you are. 
Uh, actually, I didn't rate this one. Let's say it's good. Good. So you can edit right here. Uh, it says there are uncommitted attributes. You say yes, so apply. Uh, geometry, we're going to just leave it like that. But here you have the x, y. And C, I don't have elevation for that. C is usually elevation. And then you have attachments. Okay, so I'm going to add, I'm going to go and look for the picture. You know, I have it here. I'm going to open this picture and that's it. Okay, and I'm going to clear. I'm going to select again just to see if that attachment is still there. Here it is. Clear, and I'm going to save. So I can do that for every single of my sites. So I have that, I save, make sure you save, I can close this. Now what I can do is uh, simply, I, I want to export this or I want to make my RTIS online map, okay? So basically now you have to go to your tab chair like or menu chair, uh, click on web map, and you're gonna share this as a web map, okay? Select configuration, you can just leave it like that. Location. Um, I'm going to just put it uh, on uh, root, and this is going to be shared with the University of New England. And then you can click on analyze so you can see or make sure that everything is fine. In my case, it seems that I have one problem. Uh, it says service layer has a different projection. All right. so. Okay, never mind. Oh, so all you have to do is uh, just click on that one and select to resolve that problem. Okay, so now you can share and this is going to start like uh, preparing all the project and everything, publishing individual web layers, and then you're going to be able to open that. Let's wait for this to run. Once uh, it finishes, uh, you will see this message here, so success successfully share web map. Now you can click here and manage the web map. It's gonna take you to directly to, this, to the web map. You open in map viewer, and here it is. Uh, now you can change the, make sure that you have a good name right here on the layer so you can change the name or click on rename. You can uh, change the um, layer symbology right here. Let's say I want to show uh, rate was good and what's more or less was best. So good and best. So for good, I'm gonna just show maybe uh, a yellow star. And for best, I'm gonna show a uh, star. No, orange star. Okay, you give okay, done. Now, if you click in any of these places, you're gonna see how it looks my pop-up and I don't want that, okay? So uh, I want to change this, you can look that. So now uh, you can edit that, configure pop-up and here uh, the, the first thing, the pop-up title will be the name, which is that's fine. And then I'm gonna click here on configure attributes. Um, I don't need the rate because I already used that to do the symbology. Uh, the website, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Pop up information, I'm just gonna put info. Um, this I'm not gonna show. This I'm not going. To. And the picture I want to show. So I can click in here. And I can see Info Fabulosos Tacos website and the picture, it just shows the attachment. I can click in here and I'm gonna see the picture right away. Okay, so this is something quickly. You can do way more with the pop-up information and I actually encourage you to do it. Uh, I just don't have time and I wanna cut it off here, but this is, this is kind of the things that you can do. I'm gonna save this and leave it right here. Okay, I'm just gonna show you quickly uh, before I leave. Um, under uh, GIS resources, you will see um, pop-ups as the essentials. And here you can find how to configure the pop-ups. So just give it a look. Uh, okay, and now I am going to leave it right here. Okay, let me know if you have any question. 
uh, and have a have fun.